You know that feeling. Your muscles ache from yesterday. You're feeling weak and puny as you start your next workout. And all your workout friends remind you to keep up with your daily protein intake. But have you wondered what's going on inside your muscles? How the protein that you eat helps you stay in shape, especially after you get hit with delayed onset muscle soreness, also known as DOMS. Shown here in blue are actin chains that are being gripped by myosin motors that are shown in purple. The braided rope is made of long purple tails from each motor. So, your muscles work like a nanoscopic bungee run. Your springy chain of titan, which is shown here in orange, guides the team of myosin motors as they blindly pull their way down the surface of your actin chains, nanometer by nanometer by nanometer. Eventually, the force of whatever weights you're lifting balances the force that your myosins can exert. At that point, the bungee run comes to a stalemate. And like the moment everyone who has ever done a bungee run remembers so well, your myosin motors get yanked back as you consciously allow your muscles to relax and your nerves tell your motors to give up their fight. Now, if you keep your muscles maximally tensed for too long or for too many reps, your myosin motors can actually get yanked completely out of register. This process is called sarcomere popping and it makes your muscles sore and unable to lift as much, which are the classic symptoms of DOMS. Your body most likely fixes this problem by using an actin-cutting protein called gel solin which is shown here wrapping around the actin chains that are popped out of place. New actin building blocks get synthesized by your body's protein factory, which is called the ribosome. Your ribosomes read genetic recipes written in your messenger RNAs, which are shown here as a cream-colored strand. Once your actin building blocks are in place, which can take a few days, your muscles are back on track for more lifts, curls, squats, presses, and anything else you want to do. Your symptoms are gone and your muscles are that much stronger and resistant to future bouts of DOMS. But how does ingesting protein help with this process? Obviously, if you had a shortage of amino acids, your ribosomes would not be able to make new proteins. But most of us never even get close to that level of amino acid shortage. So to understand how creating a surplus of amino acids work to build muscles faster, we have to turn to a 135-year-old theory called Le Chatelier's principle. Not that Le Chatelier's explains everything, but it's the chemical principle behind how your body exploits building more muscle from plentiful amino acids. All it says is that when you have a chemical reaction, adding more of the starting reactants causes more of the final products to be formed. In this case, adding more amino acid reactants causes more protein products to form. It's that simple. And your body exploits that simple truth to trigger all kinds of amazing, wonderful, and yet to be discovered molecular interactions that amplify and control Le Chatelier's principle. The bottom line is that no one knows all of what happens inside the black box of your molecular machinery when you consume more protein, but carefully controlled studies of people ingesting varying amounts of protein have shown that Le Chatelier's principle works. The more protein you put in your body, up to a certain point, the more easily your body builds back its protein components, such as the actin chains that DOMS disrupts. And that's a reassuring thought the next time DOMS strikes and you're feeling a little weak and puny.